crashing the pond on the marble floor Yeah, put up that sign I read love and joy Yeah, I want more, yeah, she want more All the miss of the flashing lights She only will hit to a certain song Her channel is orange, white flannel thong Come tag along, come tag along Crash, love, lost, and a man Look left, tiptoe to the fan Scream, bitch, take off in the jam Skid out, crash now, got it, got a chance 15 on the nigga, blue man, blue man Rain dance with a finger on the trigger Eight chance to be Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, back at it again, man. We are outside this morning doing some breath work, doing some reading, and just trying to get our mind right before we go into this day. Some mornings I wake up and my mind's a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit boggled, a little bit just blah, right? So it's important that I get outside, get my feet in this grass, I meditate, do some breath work, read a bit, and then I'll do some journaling well planning day planning I, my goal is to implement more journaling but yeah man just a just a little life update I've been out in the sun all morning y'all can see that I look like I just woke up but I've been out here for about an hour now about 40 minutes um, and I just want to give y'all a little life update man so we're moved in we're moved into my place man I've been here for a couple months just getting settled in Get my apartment together, um, getting kind of stabilized, and getting into a routine. Um, it's definitely been a battle in terms of just me versus me, man. That's that's all this is, man. Um, when it comes to you know achieving my goals and becoming who I want to be and what I want to become, to be able to provide for the people I care about, and you know what I mean, just have some power to to change things but it ultimately comes down to me my self-awareness my self-development and becoming a, a person that can analyze my own my own faults um, and become sharper and become better right now as y'all can see I'm reading the book deep work so something that I'm what's focusing up, right now what's up man um, something that I'm working on right now man is just the Something I'm working on right now is just being able to concentrate, undistracted, focused for hours on end, right? I find that, and what I'm learning is that with these phones and with this instant gratification and being able to just get us, you know, dopamine spike whenever by pulling out our phone, we're not used to being bored anymore, right? We sit in a grocery store line, and we pull out our phone, we're waiting for an elevator, we pull out our phone, we're just standing at a party avoiding awkwardness, we pull out our phone. We're so used to having these phones where now, when you try to tap in and do some work for hours on end, pay attention. Pay attention to how many times you're, you're reaching for your phone, you're looking for your phone. Like, I feel like a crackhead, bro. Like, this shit's not cool, and it's something I'm working on. So I've been working on breaking my use of my phone, um, keeping my phone away from me when I'm working. And that's something that I wasn't this aware of last year, you know, I've been doing my business. I feel like this is something that's gonna help me go from, you know, six out of 10 to that eight out of 10, nine out of 10 level of work and output. You got crying kid. Got screaming kids. It'll be like that. Sorry, little man. Sorry, little guy. He didn't want to leave the park. But yeah, man, um, being able to go deep and focus and get good quality work done, no matter the field, no matter what you're doing, is an important power because it gives you um, it gives you a piece of inner like happiness to... It gives you a piece... What, what were they just talking about? It gives you a piece of happiness oh he's got a camera okay little man yeah we see you little man's cool he's got him a camera right in his back in his pocket he pulled it out like yeah i'm i'm cameraed up too see these kids these kids are going to be vloggers they're going to be all into this tech and it's like what does that mean in terms of how they focus how they work like we've only had these phones introduced to us for not even a decade now maybe a decade i don't know but it's had such a huge effect on our attention span, on our fucking focus. Like, it's it's crazy, man. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on. And more of a life update, man, where I'm at. So, um, I'm currently working on building a brand. 
well, I've built a brand, but now I'm working on building a, a clothing brand where I'll be um, selling some some fitness merch, fitness merch, um, fitness leisure, fashion, fitness fashion, whatever y'all want to call it. It's going to be drip that you can wear at the gym or when you leave the gym or if you go to a party or if you go to a motherfucking, motherfucking art museum. Like, you're going to be fresh. Like, period. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now as well as a few other business vin ventures. Um, of course, investing in, in things like crypto and stocks. Stocks has been kicking my ass. Crypto's down right now, but keep investing. Plan on holding that for the long term. Um, something else that I've been working on and studying is semen retention. I'll be talking to y'all a bit about that as we go in and you know how we've been kind of lied to and um, misinformed when it comes to the power of our semen and how we're supposed to go about sex. Um, I'm currently reading a book, I forget the name, um, but it pr pretty much talks about channeling sexual energies and how to transmit that into um, cultivating energy right um and i've just been like i said man just trying to get better literally myself just trying to get better trying to build my habit of reading books you know what i'm saying i already listened to a bunch of podcasts but now i'm trying to get into reading more books and just educating myself on different topics and becoming uh, a master of self man as well as you know since i cut my hair man I mean, even before, I haven't had any paid modeling gigs in a little while, a few months now. Um, and since I cut my hair, I've had to work on rebuilding my book. So that's something that I've been working on. Y'all be seeing some behind the scenes shoots of what I've been doing uh, with my friends and you know, just, just creating to build a new book so that my agencies have something to send out to clients, to put up on the website, so on and so forth. Um, when it comes down to the industry, the modeling industry and things like that, Things have slowed down for me in, in terms of me being pressed about getting modeling jobs as they're currently um, requesting back only people to work, which is like fucked up, but it is what it is. I'm still gonna get in where I fit in, um, but it's just the, the world's in a crazy place right now, man. Um, and what I figured I focus on is me, you know what I'm saying? It's so much crazy shit going on so much I want to talk about but at the end of the day what I can focus on is me setting you know myself right so that I can be who I need to be for my family for my loved ones and for the people around me um so yeah man I'm gonna just continue to build continue to drop this content content is going to be coming a lot more consistent now um I'm actually at a place now where I can be consistent man I could have I could have been being consistent let me not say that as an excuse but now that i can get this momentum i'm gonna get this momentum going i have my place i have stability there's no reason so y'all be keeping an eye out um i would be, be just creating a lot more and that's something that i'm working on as well is just uh, not consuming right pay attention to how much y'all are consuming especially what you're consuming um, scrolling on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube like what are y'all watching what are y'all intaking into your mind and what you're intaking is that going to help you become who you're trying to be right and the person you need to be in order to live the life that you want to live you know what I'm saying so there's there's really levels to this self-development and self-mastery but it really comes down to um, one figuring out your why and why you want to become the master of yourself and become a better version of yourself um, and then just working day in and day out towards becoming you know more conscious more self-aware and taking steps forward each day you know building habits building smart habits building a f smart foundation because we're humans of habit everything that we do is habit so no matter how much discipline and mind power you have it's going to be a lot harder than if you build a habit around a successful routine and around self-care um, so yeah it's 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 up man it's up and i just wanted to come here and kind of just talk with y'all for a bit because i've been i've been gone for a little while and i wanted to give y'all an update um life's going good i'm enjoying my new apartment um still working out the gym situation but for the most part i've been going to a gym about a mile away outdoor gym by the name of speak easy it's a nice gym um no problem so far mom's calling Hello? Hey, son. What up? What you doing? 
Nothing, just recording uh, my YouTube. What's up? Let's see. Ooh, you by the beach. It's Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah, they can't see. It's Myrtle Beach. How are you liking it? Man, it was scary at first, right? What you mean scary? Because I didn't realize I was on nothing but water. What you mean you on nothing but water? On the, the plane? The land here is water. Oh, you're on an island? Yeah, Myrtle Beach. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a Look, look. Look at this. Hold up, let me go in this shade real quick so they can see you too, child. Let me see. Okay, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beach. Man, every no, this whole world is water. This whole world is what? You mean you're surrounded by water? Yeah. Boom. All right, just got off the phone with mom. She called me in the middle of the vlog sesh, but it was it was meant to be. That uh, conversation was very interesting. So my mom, as y'all just heard firsthand, she has never been to a beach, man. Like in decades. Like the last beach she went to was in Gary, Indiana. Like that. If that doesn't kind of give you uh, a light of like. I've been trying to get my mom out here to LA. I've been trying to get my mom out of Minnesota. It's like real first generation breaking out of the Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? And to kind of go against the grain. Just think about me telling my family that I was moving to LA, what thoughts were going through their head, what they were telling me. Oh, I shouldn't go out there. Oh, all these things, right? They, they have not been out of Minnesota super a lot. You know what I'm saying? They're very homebody. Um, and I mean, just how we came up, man, it wasn't a lot of traveling, you know what I'm saying? We were blessed, middle class, but lower middle class, you know what I'm saying? Mom did what she had to do, make sure that we had everything we need, but we didn't have all kind of extra money for vacations and, or maybe, I can't even say we didn't have the money, but that wasn't a priority of budgeting you know what i'm saying in terms of going out and seeing the world so i feel like that's that's my duty now you know what i'm saying and that's why i am working towards becoming financially free financially successful so i'm able to help them see the world in a way that they would never see before you know what i'm saying out of the country to islands like she's calling me talking about myrtle beach and how she's scared <laughs> and because it's just water around her, like, we finna go to motherfucking, damn, I look crusty, but we finna go to goddamn Thailand and Africa and Dubai, like, what, like, I'm trying to, we gotta really see the world in full capacity, and we don't deserve nothing less, period. So, that's why I work hard, man, that's why I, one of the reasons I work hard, you know what I'm saying, and why I'm doing all this, so that I can, Get the highest value of life i can help my family my loved ones and just people people in general become financially free financially able to live the fullest life and not only financially but health you know what i'm saying health wellness their mindset you know what i'm saying perspective everything bro um so i feel like i got a good i feel like i informed y'all of everything for the most part got a brand launching make sure y'all fuck with us support it's gonna be named dope not famous it is named dope not famous trademark you know what i'm saying so that's that's officialized um we will be launching in the next month or two so keep an eye out for that um got a lot of workout content coming a lot of fitness a lot of mindset a lot of just holistic you know what i'm saying standpoint and um motivation inspiration whatever y'all take from it i just want to share with y'all you know my journey my perspective and hope to you know help those that watch in some way shape or form you know um so keep getting better out there y'all man just keep you know if you're on this channel give me a like give me a subscribe let me know what y'all want to hear let me know if this helps let me know what journey you're on what you're struggling with you know what i'm saying let me let me know you know what i'm saying um but yeah man the world is your oyster it's all up to you to just Look it in the eyes and just get after it, you know? I'm about to go eat, go to this gym, 
It's supposed to be a hoop session at 1.30. I haven't hooped in months. I'm down for that though. 11, 12, 1. Guys, you're hooping at the Da Vinci? I've only heard stories about this motherfucker. Hope I ain't got snot in my motherfucking nose, but I've only heard stories. There's a gym in this motherfucker? I'm finna yank. I'm gonna try to get some clips for y'all getting these buckets, but my my battery's at like 60% and it requires a lot of battery to be able to sit there and just run the camera to capture some clips, but I'm happy I'm, I'm able to hoop. I haven't hooped in LA in a minute. I look like a damn buster right now. But we finna get it in, watch. I'll never lose this shit. This shit in my, my fucking veins at this point. So yeah, we finna get loose. I ain't hooped in at least a motherfucking shit. Year? Yo, what's up, bro? How you doing?